Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking the best of British skincare. That's everything that's fantastic coming out of the UK, the best brands, the best products, and all the things that you need in your skincare routine, wherever in the world you happen to be. Now, this is gonna be part of a series. Today, we're have focus on the UK. I thought I'd do the UK first because that's where I'm based, that's where my loyalty lies. But I'm going to do the next series on um, the US, obviously, and focusing on some of the fantastic skincare brands in the US. I'm going to move on to Canada. We're going to go via Australia. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what country you're from. Give me some brands, some tips, some hints of the things that you love that come from the country where you are, and then can include this in the series. So there's no bias. I know we start with the UK, but there's no bias. And the reason I wanted to do this series is because at the moment we're all a lot more conscious about our skincare miles, our environmental um sustainability and we want to buy local supporting local brands local products but also just cut down on our environmental impact so i thought if i highlight some of the fantastic brands here in the uk a you guys internationally can still enjoy them buy them online have them shipped to you and enjoy these fantastic products but if you're here in the uk you can buy into these brands knowing you're getting fantastic products fantastic brands but also cutting down on the amount of air miles and the shipping to for the product to get to you so it's kind of win-win we're going to be like i said covering the us australia canada and any other country that you guys want to uh, me to cover and it's just an opportunity to share some love and showcase some fantastic products i've got seven different brands here some of them i'm sure you've heard of some of them are completely niche but definitely definitely deserve a little bit more recognition i'm going to go through the brands and the best products that sit within that brand starting out with i think probably the most famous of the uk beauty brands at the moment that is the inculist i'm saying no more i'm not going to give a full rundown because i've done a video on it i'm going to link it up there for you the inculist is based here in the UK. All their products are manufactured in London or in Nottingham um, and they are just a gorgeous and fantastic product. They're available internationally so if you haven't already get your hands on it. I love their oat cleansing balm, I've got their retinol, I've got their hyaluronic acid. Basically just a fantastic product line and definitely 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 check them out if you haven't already. I was kind of guilty when I was researching this um, video and working out which brands I love and I didn't actually realized the inky list was as british as it was i knew that the founders were british but i didn't know like the whole brand and the manufacturing was here in the uk so props to the inky list i have been buying local without even knowing it so amazing and um, so if you haven't already check out that video and check out some of their products because they are life-changingly brilliant now we're going to move on to another reasonably famous brand well at least here in the uk but i think it's kind of a european famous and that is elemis i'll leave an image of the branding there I love this brand. It is so spa. It's it's the right side of bougie without being super expensive and exclusive, but you feel like you're getting a quality product and you are getting a quality product and the smells are nice and the whole branding's gorgeous. The Pro Collagen range is a peptide lover's dream. It is just drenched and packed full of peptides, which signal to the skin to produce more collagen. It prevents collagen degradation. It keeps the skin hydrated. It gives you that firmness that luminosity that we all crave beautiful lines so anything from their pro collagen range if you want to dip your toes into that range you don't know where to start their cleanser is phenomenal it's 36 pounds which is quite up there in price for a balm cleanser but you need the tiniest amount it lasts forever and wait if you use it you finish and your face feels literally like drenched in moisture and so hydrated and gorgeous i love that and we're all in lockdown, so you're not able to get to your facialist if you know if you're super bougie and have a facialist, or if you just go to a spa or whatever, and you want that at home spa the sort of ritual, then definitely their superfood facial is £45, but their mass it's like a massage oil. Oh not only can you do a fantastic massage, facial massage with it that genuinely makes you feel afterwards like you've had a 30 minute facial, it's that good. But the smell, it like takes you to another world of spa loveliness. I love all of their skincare. Now it is all fragrance with natural scents and essential oils because something's natural doesn't mean you can't be reactive to it. So please, please, please bear that in mind if you have very sensitive skin, this might not be the brand for you. But anybody that loves that spa smell, that sensorial experience, that just gorgeous, gorgeous 
loveliness. <laughs> That's the only way I could describe it. It's just a really lovely brand. It's all natural and they work really closely with um, growers and farmers here in the UK to source their products. So all their products are sourced fairly and um, in an environmentally sustainable way. So that's like ding, ding, ding when it comes to sustainability good sourcing and just good buying practices. I love Elemis and they don't get enough shout out from me. Um, another brand which I love here in the UK, absolutely, absolutely love, is um, Evolve Organic Beauty. I'll leave an image of it there. Um, embarrassingly, the only thing I currently have in my skincare routine from them is the um, hand sanitizer. Not exactly the sexiest product out there. I love all of their products. It's just this is the one that happened. I do use this before I cleanse my face though. So, you know, before you start doing your facial massage and you need to have clean hands, so I wash them and then pop some of this on. It smells of bergamot, gorgeous. Um, and will keep your hands hydrated. Absolutely fantastic. But if you want something a bit sexier than a hand sanitizer, their um, melting butter um, cleanser, beautiful. They do a day cream, which is fantastic. Just the whole line is gorgeous. It's all organic. It's all natural. And this is a real theme, actually, from a lot of these products. It's that, orga that focus on organic ethos, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Here in the UK, because we have reasonably high manufacturing standards, we have reasonably high wages, um, and you don't really get cheap, cheap, with the exception of the inkillers, you don't get cheap, cheap, cheap products. Everything is kind of mid-market, but good quality. So I think with all of these brands, you are paying a little bit more than maybe you would at a drugstore, but you're getting a little bit more for that money, which I think is the really important thing. So if you love organic beauty and if you love natural beauty, the UK is a fantastic place to shop. So Evolve um, Organic Beauty, absolutely love their brands. Check out their cleansers. I've got a load more on the way. I spent like £130 there the other day online. They just make you want to buy their stuff. So I'm going to do a whole review, so look out for that, but a beautiful, beautiful brand. Now, moving over to what I always call a mother's favourite, but it shouldn't be. It's one of those products which has, and one of those brands which has a very middle-aged kind of demographic going after it. And it's a shame because everybody should be enjoying this product, and that is Liz Earl. Leave an image of it there. Really just their hot cloth cleanser. I haven't tried any of the other products from this, but their hot cloth cleanser took the world by storm. It's fantastic. It's manufactured here in the UK on the Isle of Wight. So it's beautiful and it's local and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous cleanser. It's packed full of rosemary and chamomile. So it's hydrating, it's calming, it's soothing. And it comes with a muslin cloth, which if you want a slight bit of exfoliation with your cleanser, you can use it. And it's slightly, slightly abrasive, which means you're getting a deeper um, cleanse and all of that cleanser is gone like that. So there's no trace left on the skin to weigh the skin down. I love this hot cloth cleanser. I got into it because my mum really loves it. And it is, like I say, a mum brand. And it shouldn't be because everybody, everybody can use it. So if you haven't tried the hot cloth cleanser, hop on over to the drugstore. You can buy it online in the US. and um, You can buy it in drugstores here in the UK. Boots, stock it. Try it. Just try it on the back of your hand. You'll fall in love with it. And it is beautiful. The smell, the experience. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous product. Um, now on to another one of my kind of, again, the organic natural route is Neil's Yard Remedies. Again, I'll leave an image there. This is a fantastic brand. I love, love, love everything about them. They have, they started off, they kind of, it's a weird company, kind of started off doing cheeses and creamery and that kind of thing. And then they have also got a sort of separate thing, which is now totally separate that just deals with skincare and essential oils and that sort of thing. Very much on the essential oils, the natural, the organic, the aromatherapy, that's their ethos. You pay a little bit for their products, but if you choose the right ones, there are some gorgeous ones. They're sensitive micellar water. £28, which I find hard to justify when you're trying to not spend loads and loads of money on skincare, but £28 and it lasts forever. It is gorgeous. It is brilliant for sensitive skin. It's calming. It's soothing. It really gets, I'd say it's almost as good as the Bioderma in terms of the amount of makeup, SPF, old skincare that you can get off. I love this product. So if you haven't tried it, definitely try it if you can get your hands on it. They do retail it online. So I think they'll ship to the UK, um, US, but here in the UK, it's available in Waitrose. It's available online and you can buy it in some of their physical stores if you're in London. Love that micellar water. They also do a soothing cleansing milk. So people that want a soothing, calming, cleansing, a milk style cleanser, this would be my go-to. It's £17. It is gorgeous. It just melts whatever is on your skin. I don't really like a balm oil cleanser too much because I'm quite oily. And I think even though it's, a lot of them are non-comedogenic, I feel 
like it's going to clog my skin. So I go for a milky cleanser. This is my go-to. I love this product. It is so calming, so soothing. You can wash it off and it emulsifies and is gone like that. There's no trace. It doesn't leave a film on your skin. I love, 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 love this product. So if you haven't checked out Neil's Yard Remedies, gorgeous, gorgeous brand. Now we're going to go on to... Oh, this was one of the first ever brands I bought a skincare product from. So I have a love, and this shows how bougie I was as a teenager. Um, this is Be Good. I'll leave an image there. It's very natural. It's all based around honey and propolis and beeswax. And the reason I was a little bit of an environmental warrior as a teenager, and I was really concerned about the bees and, you know, chemicals harming bee productivity and reducing bee numbers and the impact on the world. That was kind of my thing. And obviously still am. And this company is fantastic. Not only do they give loads of money to charities and supporting environmental charities and bee conservation, all of their products are sustainably sourced their ingredients and honey and propolis and beeswax are beautiful ingredients to be in skincare. If you want natural, I would say natural doesn't mean effective and natural doesn't mean good. However, if you want natural that is effective and is good, beeswax, honey, Propolis, I mean, it's just amazing. So honey is a natural antibacterial. So it was used back in the Egyptians and got hold of this and they knew the power of um, honey in curing, stopping infection and helping with like eye wounds and things like that. It's, to this day, it's still fantastic. If you've got acne or if you've got, um, just worried about the level of bacteria on the skin, honey masking is fantastic. They do some gorgeous products. Their propolis cleanser was the one of the first skincare products I ever bought. It's £12. You can get it in Waitrose. Um, you can get it in Selfridges, Harvey Nichols. You can buy it online. This is like, I was, a, I was a bougie teenager. And even though £12 isn't that much, where you have to buy it, it's quite expensive. Um, but it is beautiful. It goes on like a cream. It emulsifies to like a gel and it washes off like that, which is what I look for in a cleanser. It is moisturising. You're getting the benefits of the propolis, which is going to be... Um, impart all the um, beneficial honey elements so you've got the antimicrobial you've got the moisturizing it is just gorgeous and it leaves your skin feeling like a million dollars and like super hydrated and gorgeous their lip balms are also really really good i generally don't like lip, lip balms because i think so many of them have things like menthol elements in there or they have products which are occlusive and actually cause the skin to dry out further or trick the body into thinking it's overly moisturized it, reduces the amount of oil that's produced it leads to long-term dryness i just think lip balms are bad unless you choose the right one and these ones are beautiful again the manufacturer they're harnessing the moisturizing properties of honey and propolis to put it in a lip balm they're about i think about eight pounds each so they're not that bad they are beautiful they're natural it's going near your mouth so i think it's much more important if in a lip balm to have that natural and organic element more so than on the rest of your skin where you're washing on and washing off quite often this is beautiful it will hydrate, it tastes amazing. Not that you should be eating your lip balm, but again, it's all natural, so it's fine. It tastes amazing, and I just love it, love it, love it. Finally, I'm gonna give a shout out to a brand which is a bit odd, and you've either heard of it or you haven't, and I'm assuming nobody out of the UK has heard of this, because it's very UK based, but if you can get it, it's great. And that is cow shed, leave an image here. So called because it was formulated and created in a cow shed by some farmers who wanted to get into skincare because the farming wasn't really paying enough money. They have some beautiful products. Again, they're very natural. They're very focused on quality ingredients rather than cheap price points. Their Wonder Balm Cleanser, really nice if you like a thick, heavy balm cleanser. This will, and it will shift everything. Waterproof, like one of my friends wears so much waterproof mascara, like literally it's like spider lashes. And this melts it off like that. So it is that good. Their clarifying clay mask is my one of my go-to masks. You'll be seeing it in a couple of weeks on my um, Friday face mask Friday. I'll leave a link to the last one of that I did. But this is where we just sit down, we mask, we chill, we chat. I love, love, love their clarifying clay mask. It draws out all those excess oils, the impurities, that just the things you don't want in the skin. And it still doesn't strip and dry your skin like some of the other ones do. It's 24 pounds, but you probably get six to eight applications out of that. So it's not a bad price point. And finally, if you want to spend a fair bit of money at this brand, for 38 pounds, you can get their antioxidant serum. It is packed full of botanicals and i've always said the best antioxidants out there are ones that are plant derived because chlorophyll is just 
packed full of antioxidants. They just neutralize and absorb all of those free radicals before they can damage the skin, cause the aging, cause the dehydration, the collagen degradation, all the things we don't want. Antioxidants are key. And their antioxidant serum is stunning, absolutely stunning. And not only is it packed full of hyaluronic acid and hydrating, and just leaves you feeling drenched with hydration, but it's really packing a punch and protecting your skin for the rest of the day. I love this. It's 38 pounds, so it's a little bit on the pricey side, but if you wanna treat yourself, you might have a birthday coming up. I don't know, treat yourself for 38 pounds. It's really, really good. As an honorable mention, and I'm just gonna throw this one out there because it's, it's not skincare, it's kind of body care, body wash. I'm gonna give an honorable mention to Molten Brown. A lot of you will probably have heard Molten Brown. I'll leave an image of their, their body washes. Oh the smell on their body washes, their geranium body wash. If you haven't seen my Aesop review that I did, I talked about the Rose by any other name body cleanser, love that product. If you want a slightly cheaper version of it, it's not quite the same, but it's that same sort of really natural, nice, authentic smelling, English garden type smell, their geranium body wash beautiful so if you can't afford or don't want to push to the aesop price molten brown geranium body wash actually really good and they do a body um, body moisturizer in the same scent and it's just all really lovely so it's not skincare it's really just hand washes and body washes that from that line but honestly really nice and it's got a royal warrant so the queen uses this and if it's good for enough for our queen good enough for me. So I love Malta Brown, so check them out if you haven't. Now that was a whistle stop tour of everything the UK has to offer in skincare. I think if you were going to, if you're here in the UK, definitely check, check out Neil's Yard and definitely check out Cowshed because I think they're two really good, really sustainable, really authentic, fantastic British brands. Probably can't get them outside of the UK. If you're further afield, Definitely try out Elemis because you can definitely order that online and it's stocked in some stores in the US. So definitely try them out. If you want that at-home spa, that authentic at-home spa experience, Elemis is your go-to, particularly their collagen range. And um, try out Liz Earl and Molten Brown because they're fantastic brands and they're just amazing products. And what more can I say? Now the giveaway, uh, this is a fantastic giveaway. And the only way I'm saying it's fantastic and doing such a good giveaway is because I adore the UK and I want to show off to the world how amazing we are here in the UK. So if you want to win the best product from each of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brands, all you need to do, leave me a comment below what countries you want to feature, if you're going to be trying any of these products, um, if I've missed any out that you think, how dare you forget how amazing this brand is, let me know and I will send you the best of every single one of these products. It'll be the best of British wherever you are in the world. We'll ship internationally, so do not worry, just let me know where you live and I will send it to you. You'll have to follow us over on Instagram, at SkinMad, because we'll need to converse um, on there on DM to get the address and the shipping details. But let me know and you can get your hands on these gorgeous, gorgeous products. In a week's time, I'm gonna be doing the best of the US. So hit me up, let me know what products do you like that are made and uh, produced and created in the US that you want included. I've got some that I know I'm gonna include, but remind me, tell me about your fantastic products and we're gonna celebrate a little bit of every single country. Hope you're enjoying this series, let me know what you think and until next one guys, wherever in the world you happen to be, take care and big love from here in the UK, bye.